Hey everyone, this is Erin from the Huntsman Cancer Institute with the Power Program. Today I'm going to take you through a fun workout that you can do with your family or with your kids. All the exercises are going to be animal themed. So what you can try is doing 10 to 15 reps of each exercise and then you can repeat through it two to three sets. So I'm just going to demonstrate each exercise a couple times and then afterwards you can go through and practice on your own. So the first one I have is a bear crawl. So for this one, I want you to start on your hands and your knees, tuck your toes under, gripping the ground with your claws. I want you to lift your knees up off the ground and you're gonna march opposite hand, opposite leg. Just trying to keep your butt down the whole time, not letting it come up to the ceiling. It's gonna be a little bit harder for your core if the hips are down. So that's the bear crawl. The next one I'll have you do is your crab walk. So you're gonna flip over onto your hands and feet. And then this one, you can do it forward or backward. So you can crab walk forward, down one hallway, and you can crab walk back down the other one. So this one, just try not to let your butt drag. And then our next exercise will be a frog jump. So for this one, I want you to think about going down into, um, well, I'll start to the side so you can see, going down into a deep squat. You can use your hands on this. Think about playing leapfrog as a kid. You're gonna pop on up, soft landing on your toes. Try to bring those hands back down, okay? That's your frog jump. The next one is your inchworm. So with the inchworm, you're gonna start in a plank-like position. You're gonna walk your hands, your toes up towards your hands, and then walk your hands out towards your toes, trying to keep your hips level. You can even take it out further in front if you wanna make it a little more challenging and then walk those feet back in. So once again, that's your inchworm. Our next one will be our seal walk. So for this one, you're gonna come down into a plank position again. I want you to think about just letting your legs go limp so you don't really have use of them. And you're gonna be dragging those feet along, mainly using the core and the shoulders to pull you through. So that one works probably best on a hardwood floor or something like that, but you can get creative on carpet with socks. Okay, the next one I'm gonna have you do is your, is a starfish jump. So this is kind of like a jumping jack. Uh, I want you to bring your arms and legs out as you jump up to the ceiling and then come down to a little mini squat at the end. So just think about spreading out like a starfish. And then, our next one will be a donkey kick. So this one's a little more traditional that you might see in the exercise world. I want you to start on your hands and your knees, keeping a 90 degree bend in your knee. You're gonna bring that heel up to the ceiling. On this one, I want you to focus on keeping your belly nice and tight so that your back stays flat. So I don't wanna see a lot of arching because then you won't have as much activation in your glutes, which we're trying to target here. And that one you'll repeat on both sides. And then lastly is our monkey shuffle. So you're gonna start low, hands and feet are down, and you're gonna hop to the side, scooting your hands along, and back and forth. This one to get harder, you can just go a little bit faster. So that's your animal workout. Um, I suggest doing this one with your kids or with your friends, it's just something to get moving and a little bit more exciting. So I hope you enjoy that and have a good day.